Tiger Stop is the global manufacturer of stops and pusher systems. What we're featuring here today is our Tiger Rack system. This pushes up to 800 pounds on roller tables. We have flat tables on this machine, but there are optional rollers. Tiger Stop also makes heavier units or lighter weight units depending upon your needs. So we are able to enter a cut list into the Tiger Stop via our Tiger Touch software. That once that cut list is entered, then we are able to run the saw in a fully automatic mode. Tiger Stop in general does not care what type of machine you have. Tiger Stops can be set up on any type of machine, whether it be a cold saw, it could be you know any brand of chop saw, it could be on a punch press, it can be on a band saw. Tiger Stop just simply wants to know where's the saw blade. That's called calibration. Where's the saw blade at? Once it knows where the saw blade's at, it's able to make any saw basically a single axis CNC machine. Any saw that has an automatic stroke, like the Dorringer cold saw, and it could be uh, any type of band saw, if you're able to push a button on the saw, have the saw cycle without any interference, Tiger Stop would be able to make that saw into a fully automatic saw system. So when we're, uh, we're here today, obviously, and we're talking a lot about Tiger Stop and some of your workflows, so you're, what tools are you using currently as far as to do all your drawing? We use uh, AutoCAD uh, fabrication for our drawings currently, and we use the S product for all of our estimating, and we're able to take that S model and turn it into fabrication, and we're able to begin a job with a BIM model, um, and you know we're a couple weeks ahead of other contractors by using that S software. When I look at your fab shop here, and I look at all the different tools you have, you have a Watts cutter, now you've got a Tiger Stop. You're batching up that information out of the model, obviously, and then you're sending it down to these devices. So that's showing up over here at the Tiger Stop, correct? Yes. We, we're able to auto-download from our software for both our Watts Plasma Cutter for anything we do that's two and a half inch and above, and now we're able to auto-download to the Tiger Stop for any of our pipe that's two inch and below, Unistrut, all thread rod, tube steel, um, pretty much any steel product that's two inch or smaller. So when you look at a Tiger Stop, one of the things that I think a lot of contractors don't understand is just how much cutting a contractor does daily. From Unistrut to all thread rod to all your copper, your steel pipe, obviously because you're on the heating side, you're a big steel shop. And as I look at this uh, you know, stack of Unistrut and all thread rod that came from Porter, it's all teed up to be able to go right into the Tiger Stop. Last year we did in excess of 20,000 cuts. So that was, when you look at all thread rod, pipe, hangers, channel, it's a lot of cuts, it's a lot of tape measure pulls that don't have to be done, and that was our biggest source of fab air was a simple tape measure. Oh, the, the tape measure kills you. I mean, when you start to look at uh, you know, my background, I'm trying to kill the tape measure off. I was acquired by Autodesk as far as some IP that ran robotic total stations, and we really came out with model-based layout. And now we're looking and saying, oh my goodness, the same thing works as far as here in the shop. Every time you pull that tape measure, there's a huge cost associated with that. Not only in the time it takes to do it, but then as far as the marking, and when you look at how you're labeling all your pipe here, Brandon, I mean, the guys hardly need a model or anything to install from. You're telling the story directly on the piece of pipe. Click to subscribe and see more at BuiltWorlds.com.